Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and while Windows 10 has remained Windows 10, it's gotten some big updates in the past few months. Updates that have brought some really interesting features. Now, some of these features are popular while some aren't really so. Well, today we are going to talk about some really cool, really new and maybe some hidden Windows 10 features that you guys probably don't know about. Also, this video has been sponsored by Upstocks. Upstocks is a great way to invest your money in the stock market and even for mutual funds. Upstocks is the highest rated trading app on the Play Store and offers benefits up to Rs 28,000. Now, signing up for the app is pretty easy. You just need to keep your PAN card handy and the process is completely seamless. What's more, opening an account is completely free. With Upstocks, you get free delivery trades for life, up to 25 times margins and Rs 20 intraday and FNO trade. So go ahead, download the Upstocks app right away and create your account from the link in the description. Now, let's talk Windows features. Ever since Microsoft separated the Search and the Cortana feature in Windows 10, the Search has become a lot more seamless and useful. However, if you still find it tough to find some of your you know, hidden files, there's an Enhanced Search feature you should enable. In the Search settings, you can see the two options to find files, right? Well, the Classic mode only searches through files on your desktop and in your libraries, while the new Enhanced mode lets you search all the files on your device, no matter where they are. This should make sure that you'll be able to search for files that you have been having trouble locating. In my usage, the search does show more results, so yeah, it's a nice new extensive feature on Windows 10. Microsoft's Your Phone app is great. It lets you access your photos, your texts, your notifications, and a lot more from your phone on your PC. Now, it's great, but the most interesting feature has to be the ability to make phone calls. Yes, you can make phone calls from your PC. First off, you obviously need to link your phone with the PC for the Your Phone app and pair them via Bluetooth for the calls feature to enable. Now, once you do all of that, you'll see the recent calls you've made and the dialer in the Your Phone app on your PC. Now, it's pretty simple. You can make calls or receive calls from your PC. And that's not all. You can even transfer calls between the phone and PC. Check out this demo of the calls feature. Hey Sharon, what's up? Hey. So I'm talking Hello, to you from you? a Windows laptop. How cool is that? Uh, nice, nice, nice. No audio difference. Great, great. So, bye. So with the May 2019 update, Windows 10 started reserving around 7 gigs of storage for updates and other optional files. Just check it out. In storage settings, just click on show more categories and here you should see system and reserved. Now here you can see the reserved storage is around 7 gigs. Now that's a lot of storage for people who are running low on storage, right? Well, if you don't want Windows to reserve the storage, there's a registry tweak you can do. Just open the registry editor using this key in the search. Now in the registry editor, just paste this in the address. You'll find it in the description. Okay, so here you can see the shipped with reserves option, right? Just double click on it and change value data from 1 to 0 and click OK. Now close the registry editor and reboot Windows. Now do note if the reserved storage won't be deleted immediately. The next time you update Windows and a minor Windows update will do, the reserved storage will be removed. Anyway, also note that Microsoft does not really recommend this, but we were fine without reserved storage previously, so I guess it's fine. The game bar in Windows 10 started off as a simple tool to record the screen, take screenshots or maybe live stream but now it has become a feature that has well so many features. Yeah, it lets you stream games, check the performance on your PC while gaming, play music from Spotify, share screenshots on different platforms and do a whole lot more. Yeah, it is packed up but there's a new feature now that you are going to love. FPS support. Yes, all you need to do is update the game bar app on the Windows Store and you should get this FPS option in the performance dialog. Now here's Anmol from our team playing PUBG Lite and well this isn't really a gaming laptop but you can see the FPS. So yes, this is cool. You no longer need third party apps to see the FPS. The new Lite theme on Windows 10 with the whole fluent UI design language is just beautiful. I mean it just makes Windows look more modern. Now that's something I thought wouldn't be possible. Now the light theme is great but there's also the dark theme which a lot of people love. So what if you want the best of both worlds, light and dark? 
Well, there's a way. In the colors page in the personalization settings, you can choose your color as custom. Now you can choose the light theme for different UI elements on Windows and dark theme for the apps or, you know, do the vice versa. Yes, you have the choice and in fact, it looks cool too. So try it out. The native Windows 10 screenshot tool has been pretty handy, but there's one feature that it has been missing, the ability to capture screenshots of a particular window. Well, a recent update to Windows 10 has brought Windows Snip. You can just press Windows plus Shift plus S or print screen key if you have that option enabled. Now, unlike previously, you can see four tools here. There's, there's a new Windows Snip tool here, and you can just select that and use it to take screenshots of windows like this. Yeah, it is simple and handy, and I'm sure this will be helpful for us because cropping screenshots for articles is a lot of work. So you probably access this calendar from the taskbar to check dates, but there's a really cool new feature here. As you can see, there's the ability now to add an event or reminder from right here. So you can just click on a date and quickly add what's the event or what do you want to be reminded about. Then add the time and even add location and that's it. Just save and it's done. The event and reminder will be synced with the calendar app as well. So you will be notified. Well, this certainly makes adding events or reminders easy, right? So focus assist on Windows 10 is a pretty handy feature. I mean, you can use it to make sure different notifications don't annoy you while you're focused working. Well, Windows 10 recently brought about automatic focus assist, which makes things a lot better. So you can see these automatic rules, right? You can use these to make sure focus assist turns on during certain situations. You can enable focus assist when you're duplicating a display, when you're playing a game or when you're using any app in the full screen. When Windows will detect any of these conditions, it will turn on Focus Assist. You can even customize things to make sure you get priority notifications. It's easy and useful. Well, those were some cool new Windows 10 features that you should try or disable in the case of reserve storage. Anyway, a lot of these new features are available in different Windows 10 builds. So here's the build number with which these features arrived with. So you have a better idea of what feature you have or you don't have. So how do you like this video? Tell us in the comment section below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.